Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we have an amazing change that happened here in Escape from Tarkov. This is one that a lot of you guys are going to be happy about, especially the casual players, the ones that don't have a lot of time in their hands to play Tarkov. This is going to be a huge change for you guys, and I think everybody is going to benefit from this one. So do me a huge favor today. Make sure you're leaving that like, and if you are brand new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys missed the video from earlier today about the flea market, we're having a discussion on whether the flea market is killing the game or keeping the game alive. If you have any opinion on that, check that video out and make sure you leave a comment on that video, your opinion. So guys, without further ado, let's hop into this one, man operational task now give trader rep i don't know how much we're going to find that out with you guys here but we have two proper tasks today and we have one mechanic task today um honestly the main guy i need is peacekeeper i hate shoreline personally or i hate tasking on shoreline i like the map for pvp but tasks are so fucking annoying on shoreline and this is the guy that i need a lot of trader rep for still you can see i'm level 37 but i still need 0.13 more rep to get up to the max loyalty level um, so this is usually every single wipe the guy that annoys me the most which is peacekeeper The only downside to operational task giving rep is pretty much you can't decide which trader is going to give you an operational task That is literally the only con other than that. It is all positives from me personally So let's see how much trader rep, rep we're gonna get. I am in like the middle tier of the rep So I don't know if you're even gonna get rep when it comes to you know being like level 41 I think is the cutoff point there I think it's 41 to 70 plus or whatever. You're going to get those higher rated tasks. And I think it's like level 15 to 40. They're the mid tier. And then level 1 to 15 is the low tier. If I can find the chart, I'll put it on screen for you guys. But uh, let me just show you Battle State Games' tweet for anybody who uh, might want the reference point there. It should say something along the lines of most tasks. Now, it didn't say every task. So I don't know which one won't give you rep or what levels or anything. But um, the tweet should be on screen for you guys. Now, let's check out these tasks. Man, I have exit location on customs. I got to do that six times. We have 25 scav kills on shoreline. That sounds kind of ass low key because, you know, you have to go gas station, then power, then resort, and then kind of jump all around. Uh, but let's see, man. Dude, this one... Oh, that's actually more than I thought. I'm going to be honest. I really did think these, was, these were all going to be 0 0.01. I didn't think they were going to be any more than that. So even being twice what I thought it was going to be, hey, that's going to add up over time. And especially if you have more than one daily, I mean, right here, if I did both of these, I'd be getting 0 0.04. That's going to do a lot for you over time because every single day you can hop on, do your dailies, and you don't have to do all these other tasks like Grenadier. Dude, this is one that is so annoying to do every single wipe. Um, it's not like you're really gaining anything crazy from it, but some of those tasks early on for casual players might actually be really hard. I mean, you know, if you have to go to customs, extract from the one document, and then drop it off on factory for a casual player, that might be really hard. Delivery from the past is not always an easy one for a new player. So if they get stuck there for a long time, they can do some dailies, get some rep, get some money, and then hopefully get that delivery from the past done. Just one example of many here in the game. Mechanic, let's see his daily task for me today. Still going to be that 0 0.02. So, hey, I am cool with that, man. I'm going to be honest. I think 0 0.02 is a very, very balanced reputation. Like I said, I thought it was going to be 0 0.01. Hey, that is going to add up, like I said, over a couple days, over a couple weeks. You're going to have your traders really start to get leveled up. And that's going to help those players that do not like doing tasks, man. And I don't think there's any task requirement to go from, you know, if you don't have this task done, you cannot progress through your loyalty levels. I don't think there's any task like that. I think everything is trader rep and level based and obviously ruble spent. But other than that, I think these daily tasks are going to really open up a lot of doors for players who hate doing tasks and can actually get them to those higher trader levels so this is a change for the better in my opinion i don't see any cons to this really um you basically don't have to do tasks anymore you just have to do your dailies and that's it um let me know what you guys think in the comments about this one i think it's a good change i definitely support it 100 leave that like subscribe if you're new sponsors in the description below that's all i got guys thank you so much for stopping by today i'm out